Welcome to how to set up and operate the Baofeng UV5R transceiver, a video series designed for newcomers to ham radio, scanning, and transceivers. This is part two, FM radio mode, emergency light, an alarm, and squelch level. The UV5R's most simple function is acting like an FM radio for your favorite stations. This is useful during disasters when emergency broadcasts and information are put out through local radio stations. First, the radio must be in channel mode. Turning the radio on. It is in channel mode. There are channel numbers to the side. If you weren't in channel mode, you would press the FO key until those channel numbers do, it, do appear. So now it's in channel mode, now it's frequency mode, now it's in channel mode. Now press the call key to toggle the FM mode on and off. Call key is on the side, impressed with the word call. One press. We're, we're, we're gonna sign up. No experience does it. And it goes to a radio station. You can scan up to the next available FM radio station by pressing the scan key, which is marked with the asterisk. You can also directly enter the FM radio station's frequency that you'd like to listen to. I don't know if I know any offhand, but let's let's try one. Eight nine five zero zero. Uh, keep in mind that when if you do enter a frequency, you need to enter all five digits. You don't need to enter the decimal point, but you do need to enter all five digits, even if the final ones are zeros. One more example of entering directly the frequency of an FM station you'd like to listen to. Let's try 101.75. No station there. Let's scan up and see if there's one nearby. Now to exit the FM radio mode, just press the call key again. Now you're back in regular UHF or VHF radio function. The radio also provides an audible alarm. Press and hold the call key for two seconds to activate a siren. Press again to silence the alarm. Now the radio also provides a way to enable an emergency light and an audible alarm. The MON or MONI key, sometimes it's impressed with the letters M-O-N, sometimes M-O-N-I, stands for monitor, is the way to get to the emergency light and alarm. So press once this MON key, press once to activate the light, press again to activate, activate the strobe, press again to disable the light. One final function of this MON key is as an open squelch control. This radio uses a filter called squelch. The squelch filter, or the squelch level, determines the radio's sensitivity to transmission signals. A high squelch level limits reception to only the stronger signals. A lower squelch level allows all signals, weak and strong. A transmission signal will be passed on to the radio speaker or headphone only if it's strong enough to open the squelch. 
A weak signal will not open the squelch and no sound will be heard. This radio has 10 levels to which the squelch filter may be set. Zero is the lowest level, no filter at all. Nine is the highest level, maximum filter. If you need to listen to a weak or distant signal, reduce the squelch level. If weak or distant signals are just unnecessary noise, filter them out by increasing the squelch level. The Baofeng user manual recommends a squelch setting of 5. The squelch adjustment will be explained in another episode of this tutorial. Meanwhile, there is a way to immediately open the squelch level to 0, allowing weak or distant signals to pass through to the radio speaker or headphone. Meanwhile, there is a way to immediately open the squelch level to zero, allowing weak or distant signals to pass through to the radio speaker or headphone. Press. When squelch is fully open, the radio immediately increases its sensitivity to all radio transmissions that may be active on a given frequency. This helps improve reception of weak signals. However, during the time that the frequency has no transmissions, the result is this steady white noise. That's why the open squelch function is active only while pressing the MON key. When the MON key is released, the radio returns to its default squelch level, which can be adjusted in the menu settings. Ideally, your radio is set to a reasonable squelch level, and if you need to hear a weak or distant signal, simply press and hold the, call the MON key to open the squelch level completely. Stop. When the MON key is released, the radio returns to its default squelch level, which can be adjusted in the menu settings. Ideally, your radio is set to a reasonable squelch level, and if you need to hear a weak or distant signal, simply press and hold the monitor key to open the squelch level completely. Good work. My name is Milt, and this has been How to Set Up and Operate the Baofeng UV5R Transceiver, a video series designed for new newcomers to ham radio scanning and transceivers. Until next time, Keep looking up.